I've shot six straight arrows at 100 yards and put all six inside this pumpkin right here. I'm going to come get the camera and I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to go back up to the top of the hill uh, at 100 yards away and shoot again and see how many I can shoot without, uh, without missing. But six straight. Let me get the camera and I'll show you the, can the, uh, the arrows. If you can see in the back back there, you will see, let me see if I can get it now. Well, I'm working off the tripod, so you see them back there in the back? There's six arrows back there. So I'm going to go back to the back, up to the top of the hill up there again, just on the other side of that light pole. On the other side of that white uh, Tahoe and shoot again. Stay with us. There's the there's five of the arrows. And pull the pumpkin out. One arrow came out with it. But there's five of the arrows right there. And that's a group at a hundred yards. Not too bad. And I'm gonna put the pumpkin back in place and shoot again. We got into some rain yesterday when I was gonna come back and shoot at a hundred yards. So Actually, it's uh, the next day, and I'm here at 100 yards, and I'm going to shoot the pumpkin again. All right, here we go. I've got six arrows now, so we'll see how many I can get out of six. Now, so far, I've shot six straight and hit the pumpkin. Okay, zoom in. There you go. I believe that was pumpkin. You know, the one thing that you, you really have to appreciate is how easy this thing is to use. And how quickly I can reload and shoot. Yeah, here we go. Zoom in. Okay. I'm so far away until it sounds like I'm hitting pumpkin every time, but I'm not really sure. I can see the arrow up to a certain point and then I'll lose it. three down. Alright. Can you zoom back in? Here we go. Zoom back out. Now, what do you think? Can you see those, Lisa? I think I can see a couple. Right. Am I in the pumpkin? I think so. I'm shooting 27 inch air, uh, arrows. These are 75 95s at uh, 400 grain. Okay. I'll tell you what, the one thing that you will, you will understand if you shoot at this distance is you'll, you'll figure out just exactly when to squeeze that trigger.
Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Zoom back. We'll go ahead and take a look at those and see what I did. We just walked down there and I'll turn the camera off. That way it'll give me a chance to get down there. We'll see. I'm running. And you can zoom up if you want. Well, guys, take a look at this. I hit every one of them but one. And this and it's right here. Now I'm sure that you can see from that from the long distance zoomed up where these arrows hit, so you can you know that I didn't go and edit anything funny. But this is where they hit, and this is the only one that's out. There's one stuck right here in the middle. It's right through here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six arrows. Before this, I shot six in a row and hit the pumpkin. So out of 12 arrows, 12 arrows straight, I hit 11 pumpkin shots at 100 yards. Now you can't do much better than that. Only one can you do better than that. So that's pretty cool. And one thing that you, one thing that you know that you have to understand is that even though this is real, real enjoyment, what it does is this is great practice because if you, if I can shoot groups like this at 100 yards, just think when I get to 50 yards, 40 yards, and 30 yards, and 20 yards, how tight my groups are going to be. I mean, that's that's the size. It's a lot smaller than a pumpkin. So. Uh, what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to back up to 150 yards and give that a whirl and just see how well I can shoot, what kind of groups I can shoot from there. With six arrows right here with the inline vertical crossbow by Hickory Creek.